This is a how-to guide from going from a noob to a complete pro and beautiful for treasure in one simple video. First thing you want to do is redeem these following codes here. Hi, which gives you 5 gold. This smiley face here, which gives you another 5 gold. And this derpy face here, which gives you another 5 gold. Also the code Squid Army, which gives you 22 blocks and also 22 gold. Now the other code, it's really important, it's going to be chill throw 709 was here. Which gives you this firework right here, which is going to be really good for the future. Now what you want to do is build a simple boat and make it just into one stage, enough to get 50 gold. So now once you reach 50 gold, you want to buy this block right here, the hinge block. So now with the hinge block, it actually allows you to do this simple glitch, which allows you to fly. Which, when you go to your quests, it will allow you to complete a lot of these quests super quickly. The first and pretty simple quest would be the target. Simply place a chair down, take a seat, turn off your anchor mode, grab the hinge block and place it inside of your body like this. Delete it and make your way to the target, which gives you 200 gold and two regular thrusters, which is not that bad. Now you can simply start completing every single quest. The next one I would recommend would be the cloud quest, which you quickly have to do this. So place on a chair, grab a hinge block, and then you want to reach the cloud that is there. So once you touch it, you get 100 gold, also 25 balloons. So now you want to go to the store and you want to buy this sword right here, which you might be saying, this is a complete waste of our money. Why would we waste 50 on some dumb swords? Listen to me. It's all part of the plan. You want to start the dragon quest. And you want to use the same glitch to go all the way up there, but also have the sword with you. Once you appear, delete this. Use the sword and just completely kill the dragon. So you, you can hear the clicking. You're just going to have to. There we go. Gives you 25 cannons at 600 gold, which is insane. That's a great amount of gold. But the cannons are also extremely important for the next thing that we are going to do upcoming. The next quest we're going to start is the Sock Quest. So this is where you can make an investment and buy a piston. So now that you have that piston, you can use the blocks that you have a lot of and place them like this. And simply make sure you're building it with anchor mode off. Do this here. Now place an anchor block on top. Delete these blocks here. Grab a piston. Place it here. Make sure anchor mode is on for that one there. And you just want to activate it. So once you do that, grab another anchored block. Place it here. Delete the piston. Place it again. Now simply delete the anchored block and click it once more. So once you do that, it kind of nudges it a lot more, which makes it easier for you to push it. So once you want to do that, just kind of push it towards the goal. Once you do that, you get 300 gold and a soccer ball, which is pretty good. The next quest we're going to do is the ramp quest. Same glitch as before. Place on a chair, then a hinge block in your body. Make your way to that little circle there. Once you do that, you get 100 one of these things, 350 gold, and these other wedges. The next quest we can do is the Find Me quest, which pretty much is going to require you to find all the glue blocks. The last glue block will require you to use the same hinge glitch. So make your way over here. Normally you'll find it right here. So once you complete it, you get 25 glue blocks and also 450 gold, which is insane too. Next quest we're going to do is the ice quest. So just start it up here. So for this quest, we're going to build something a little bit different. First thing you want to do is place down a glue block, grab some ice blocks, or pretty much anything turns into ice. Uh, build this design here. Place a hinge on top facing upwards. Stand there. Then grab a glue block. Simply place it in your body. Delete this. And you can pretty much make your way to the end pretty quickly. I would recommend for this quest trying to go through some of the beginner stages just to make sure it does register you. Then from there you can kind of just hop up. So once you get here you get the 100 ice blocks, 1000 gold which is absolutely insane. Plus you get a little bit of a bonus of getting some gold. So collect the gold. So the last quest we want to do is the box quest. Probably one of the most difficult ones if you don't know how to do this correctly. So you're going to want to get this to the end as fast as possible. So we're going to have to speed run this a little bit by using this glitch here. Now simply launch and just kind of zoom your way to the end as fast as possible. Okay, so we did make it to the end right here. You get 800 gold. You also do get the mystery block, which I never use. So and you can collect some more gold. Oh, I'm a zombie now. So once you're able to easily grind a little bit more of gold and with completing all the quests, you should be around 4,000 gold, which you're actually able to buy now the screwdriver and also along with the old legacy package. So buy this package right here that includes the wheels. So with the remaining gold you have, I recommend buying some plastic, at least a hundreds blocks worth. 
Next thing we're going to do is go to the crystal stage to get some free portals. So simply build what I'm building. And with this, make your way to the crystal stage. So once you're here, you want to shoot two of each color. So two green, two red, two blue, two pink, and kind of just shoot two of every color, pretty much crystals. So once you get all the crystals, you'll be teleported to this secret place right here. You can turn off anchor mode. I, I, okay, I think I no way I actually got teleported with all of this. I'm just going to leave that behind. So now just make your way over here. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to find all the crystals through a bunch of portals and place them right there. So let's go do that. First is going to be yellow. Then it's going to be orange. Then it's going to be purple or pink. You're going to get the crystal and make your way back the same way. Blaze it right here. It's going to be green. Then it's going to be gray. Then go back the same way. Blaze it over here. Next one's going to be yellow. Then it's going to be cyan blue. Then it's going to be the black portal. Grab the crystal and just make your way back. Place the final crystal right here. So with that, you'll get access to this chest here, which gives you four free portals and also 200 gold, which is not that bad. Also this chest. All right, so from there, you can actually just reset. So now on our final step towards becoming a pro and buildable treasure is building ourselves a pretty nice AFK farm. First thing you want to do is place an old legacy with here in the start. Grab some plastic. Place a block here. Go 50 blocks outwards. Since we don't have the skill tool, we will have to place them ourselves. So one. Place an old legacy with here at the end. Place the plastic block on top and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go three blocks downwards. So one, two, three. Grab yourself a portal. Simply place it like this. Now go here. Place the chair down. We're going to use the same glitch we have been using. Place a glue block in your body. Grab a hinge block. Place it right here. Now grab another portal and place it right here. Now just make your way in between the first stage. So once you make it here, simply turn on the anchor mode for the portal. Turn off collision. Delete this. So with your screwdriver, you're going to adjust the wheels. Turn up the torque up to this orange right here. Turn on the speed down to 5. For the wheel over here, turn up the torque all the way up to green. Turn the speed down to 5. Make sure you buy a switch block and place it down. Select everything here with your screwdriver. Turn off anchor mode. Turn off collision. Activate the switch block. And now all you have to do is just reset. And now you have yourself an awesome AFK farm that will grind gold by itself. You don't have to do absolutely anything anymore. And the best part is, this account had little to nothing. Now it has all these items and an awesome AFK farm that is able to grind gold by itself. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, turning on post notifications. Peace out, everybody.